When I was 17, I moved in with my dad. I'd gone to a whole new school. Everything was brand new. And the homecoming dance was approaching, the dance that you have at school, right? And I'm walking, walking by the kitchen, and my dad's in there, and he's like, son, are you planning to go to the school dance? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I bet there's some cute little girl that you want to ask from school, don't you? And I'm like, ah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe? What do you mean, maybe? Well, I mean, what if she says no? And my dad stops making dinner. He turns and he looks straight at me. And he says, son, the answer is no until you ask. Hmm. Huh? The answer is no until you ask. I don't understand. Okay, let me break it down. You don't have a date with her now, right? Sheepishly, I look down again. No. And if you ask her, and she says no, you still don't have a date, right? Yeah? So if you don't have a date now, and if she says no, then nothing changed. But if she says yes... Now, I'm so grateful to be here today. This Chamber of Commerce means a lot to the world, right? So much goes on here, commerce. And I've always been a fan of this area. Some of my favorite celebrities are from here. Jack Nicholson, you know, Adele, um, the Kardashians. But, but my favorite local family since I was a little kid is the Beverly Hillbillies. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> You know, Uncle Jed, Jethro, Granny, and who could forget our favorite gal, right? And you know, the story goes like this, that Uncle Jed's out hunting one day, and do you all remember what he's hunting? A rabbit, right? So he's out hunting a rabbit, and he shoots, and he misses, but up from the ground comes a bubbling crude oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, you know what? There's another gold rush going on right now in the U.S. It's being talked about every day. And as an entrepreneur, you're probably getting 50 calls a day. And you're like, please stop calling my office. Because it's about this thing called ERTC, the Employee Retention Tax Credit. And you're like, oh, my God, another time. You know, there's so much misinformation. There's so much over-information that it, it drives people crazy. And what I want to do is just really simplify it. And I want to give you the five most common questions that people are asking. Question number one, I don't believe it. Okay, fair enough, right? I'm a skeptic and I'm an entrepreneur business owner just like you. And I didn't want to believe it either, but the fact is it's a law. It's part of what's called the CARE Act. Um, and, and what's confused people is the law's actually changed eight different times. It's, it's changed, it's, in, it's in been enhanced, uh, so there's lots of misinformation. Your CPA probably told you it doesn't work, and that's because the law may not have qualified to you back then, but now it may. Number two, it seems too good to be true. Well, I agree, right? That's where the skepticism comes in. But the fact is, this law was helped to help businesses and help you be able to use assets. And the reality is, my own perspective, this is my opinion, but, but the reality is you're just getting your own money back, right? We paid the money into the government. We're getting access to what we paid in. And how it works is it says you can get up to $28,000 per employee, right? So if you had 10 employees, that can equate to 280 grand. Now, that's no chump change in my book. If you had 100 employees, add a zero to that, right? So it's a real number, and it's not worth ignoring. By the way, it's not a loan, so you don't have to pay it back, and you don't have to use it towards paying payroll or anything like that, like the other program. This one you could just put straight in your pocket. Number three, do I actually qualify? That's simple, too. If you were in business in 2020 and 2021, and you had full-time employees, you meet the bare definition. Number four, I thought you had to have a loss. I thought I had to have a loss in my business. Well, that's a common misunderstanding. That, that's one of the ways that you qualify, but there's actually a bunch of ways you can qualify. And, and the reality is you could have made an insane amount of money and still qualify for it. And then number five, 
I don't really have anybody that I trust and I'm getting a million calls a day. Well, that's what our group does. We, in 2022, we did over a billion dollars of recovery. So I'd say that's a real number, a billion with a B. Um, and then we have a team of experts and CPAs and tax attorneys that come in, review everything, make sure that you're doing it exactly right, make sure you maximize it, and that uh, all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed so that everything's going exactly the way it should. So my encouragement to you is, you know, don't, don't just sit on the sidelines because it's going to end pretty soon in a few months, right? You have until really the end of the year to apply in most cases. So my encouragement is don't just sit on the sidelines and letting somebody else, right? Don't hold back because the answer could, the answer could be yes. And that one philosophy got me my first date, right? So don't, so don't just wait. Like, like Uncle Jed, my encouragement is it's time to step up and take your shot because the answer is no until you ask. All right. All right.